If y'all haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's your boy Bezo with Wheels. Back at it again. Body work day. It's time to get some body work done. Well, we got a lot of body work done. That's why I'm making this video. I, don't, I have slowed down from making videos just because I was like, man, how can I make a video if I'm going to be on go? Uh, yeah, so I'm about to wrap it up here in a minute. Probably do a little bit of cleaning before we leave. We've been at it all, not all night. I, I got here about 3 a.m. Um, It's about 7.15, so we're going to get out of here, go to work, do our thing. But I'm going to go ahead and show you all what we got done today. be doing a little backtracking and hopping around in this video with the body work whole purpose of body work is to get the whole panel flat whatever panel you're going to be working on body work is you either cutting out or taking out rust you pulling out a dent wiping a dent wiping some few scratches depends on you know what all you're getting done these areas these were really high so that means it got hit from underneath and we tapped them down with our body hammer which is right here if you are, you know, interested in becoming a body tech or whatever the case is, you're going to need some equipment. Um, it normally comes in a case. You get a bunch of, man, you get about four, three of these, three different shapes, shapes and sizes and whatnot and weights to knock, you know, tap some areas down, flatten some areas down, pop them from the, um, you get a case, I think for about a hundred and something bucks. Case of the hammers, definitely get you some blocks. You got different size different size blocks, different shapes, um, which some of mine's are over here. This is a block, this is like an angle block. Uh, no, I got another angle block. We got a flat, flat block like that. Then we got the um, air, air, uh, I can't even think my bad. Where's my other block? I know I had like four or five blocks, but they are nowhere to be found. So, uh, yeah, I do like this block because, like I said, but my dog, I had my dog here. I had a dog, and, yeah, he got a hold of that. Where is my other block? My apologies, man. Let me find my other block. What the hell? I just had it not too long ago. Ah, oh, here we go. Here we go. So we got this bad boy right here. We got this block. I like this one, too. Let's get around them angles, back and forth, rocking Anyway, so the whole purpose of blocking, the only really reason you need a DA is just so you can buzz down the body work. I mean, buzz down the paint. Like, if you know you don't have any dents, just use DA, put some 600 or th some 320, 320 the whole car, and then, you know, seal it and then 600, however you want to do it, however you do it. Um, but, yeah, just 
Use a DA when you don't have no body work. Use the block when you have body work. The block is going to ensure that you are keeping it flat because say, say it's a dent right here. Say this is a dent. If you have a DA, by the time, even, I mean, most cases, wherever you angle it, say you're, say most of your weight is on this side. By the time you run over it, you're just going to dig that bondo out or dig that area out. But with the block, it's flat. There's no way you can dig anything out. With a DA, I would say 80, 90% of the time, if you're going over, if you, like, if I use this, this DA right here. I'm not, I'm not editing that out. I'm just going to leave it in there. Um, pay attention to what you're doing, guys. How is that even still? Well, it is four degrees. It's like five degrees outside. So, um, damn. Anyways, <laughs> uh, let's just do this area. Now, if we use the DA to this area, we'll use it. I guarantee we would think we got it. We would be like, yeah, yeah. And you're going to end up wiping. You're going to end up sanding all that Bondo out. I cannot believe. Anyway. You're going to end up sanding all that Bondo out. But if you take a block with it, you go over, you crisscross, you use your X patterns. By the time you about, you know, three to four minutes into blocking, probably less than that, um, you're only going to have the Bondo that's covered that low spot. So you would see a misted low light blue. You would see like a misted light blue, almost like how this primer is. See how the primer is blended in? Um, this is actually a low spot because I sprayed some. Um, some guy coat. Now the guy coat is in a can. It's almost like spray paint, but it dries really fast and it's meant for something like this. When you blocking, it'll tell you what's low. You see how you can see the black paint right there? Um, let's get this block. Where we at? Where we at? I'm losing my freaking mind. Okay, it's block right here. My bad. It's time. I'm tired. Um, so this is a block, clearly. Now the purpose of the block is this right here. So we got the paint right there. We got the guy coat. Now, if the guy coat stays there, that means it's really, it is definitely low. But if it goes away, if we you sand it out, then it, you can block. Let's chase it. Forget it. Let's enough talk. a little bit of black paint which indicates it's a low spot now we don't see any bare metal around here so that means we can go a little lower we can keep blocking it i guarantee you can block it out meaning you won't have to use bondo so if we can block this out we won't have to use that do that extra step damn that sucks anyway so um now with you blocking one spot it is possible that you can block this area too much and now this area is higher than this area. So when you block in, in, mo in, in, in not most cases, in not most cases, whatever that may be. Anyway, so you, how you want to get this area without knocking this area too low is just go ahead and just stretch it, stretch across that panel. So don't just focus right here. Cause if I took a DA and and did that, you know, sanded that area, all of that is high. And then you're gonna feel it, and then nine times out of ten you're gonna see it. So this is another thing why body work takes so long is just because you're chasing highs and lows all the way around, and then you just want to make sure you're, you're making sure that you're using a block. So blocking, blocking is uh is your best friend. <laughs> I, I tell you that, and I say that, like I said, when I first started doing body work, I was never, I, I didn't even have a pair of blocks. I didn't have any blocks to, when I first started doing body work or even working on cars. So definitely get you a pair of blocks. Um, if you're doing body work, don't even use the DA. You can use the DA if like, you know, you, this right here, you see my deep lines, you can glide over that with some 800 grit just to knock it down and chase it 
you know, get it lower, get you a head start, then you block it. But other than that, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even touch it. So, um, now we got to, wait a minute. Let's just see if it's probably dry now. Watch it. I know it's dry. <sighs> That's wild. It's that cold. It's, now, nah, it I think it's 20 degrees outside. It's 20 degrees, so that's still not dry. Um, anyways, so with the blocking, you definitely want every old school to be blocked because it's going to tell you where all your lows and hot spots is. Now, don't pay attention too much to the color to a certain extent. Um, so this looks like a low spot to me, but at the same time, it might just look low because everything else is pink and that's gray. So, guide code, let's just go ahead and grab our guide code since we're just doing some body work. We're working on body work. We want to perfect body work. Um, I'm supposed to be leaving. I'm just giving y'all an idea, just giving y'all an example before I head out. So, it's kind of got it on there. That's to do a light, nothing heavy. Let that kind of sit for about 30 seconds and then boom. Take our long block. And then we're just going to glide across it. Now, with a long block, you want to make sure. It's an even amount of weight all through the block um, so that it hugs that panel. So super any any longer than this, I wouldn't. Um, yeah, I wouldn't. To me, I wouldn't recommend. Um, I like like this size. And then I got a 12 inch somewhere. Um, so let that sit for anyway. Let's get it. See, I'm going all the way across the panel. I'm going up and diagonal at the same time. Then I'll kind of go over here a little off of it. That's to make sure, you know, we're not too, we're not making a crater or anything like that. Then you're gonna hit it with another angle. You'll know when it's time to stop blocking, when it's bare metal around here, bare metal around there, bare, <laughs> bare metal around anywhere that's outside of the perimeter of the dent. So, well, the low spot, yeah. So, right here, this is okay. We still, I bet we can block it out. We can definitely block it out. So, we won't need no bondo. <sighs> yeah, that's some work. So, Body work, definitely time consuming, especially because I've been on this hood for a few hours now, longer than that, because I jumped on it a while back and now we back on it. So body work, get you some blocks. This is 80 grit right here. Um, Bondo, I'm, well, I'm using the Evercoat. Got my Evercoat, like I said, and then we got the Duraglass. And then if you can get one of these, these are great too. 100 bucks from... Uh, is it Steve's Wholesale? I forgot. Yeah, I think it's Steve's Wholesale. Um, I lied. It's one. It's something somewhere. Anyways, um, yeah, those are pretty cool, but it's something about blocking. Blocking is like you can't you you can't go wrong. You won't go wrong with it blocking unless you're just intentionally tearing stuff up. <laughs> now. Like I said, um, you don't want to cheat. Like if the dent is right here, you don't want to just dig it out. No, absolutely not. I've seen people do that. Just block it out. And if it seems low, if you feel like you've sanded and blocked enough to where um, it's, it starts to shine. If it starts to shine around, then yeah, you might want to go ahead and wipe it one more time and then block it. And then you want it to be flushed even. This whole panel can still be blocked a little lower. Um, uh, but like I said, I did, did about two blockings. Oh, two blockings. I'm just, I'm tired, man. <laughs> yeah. I'm making my own words. But anyway, so blocked, I blocked the whole thing twice and then just kind of examined it, seeing some low spots, wiped them. Well, those were a little high. So I tapped them down low, got some Bondo. This was, uh, 
from a previous painter. Um, so you can tell the car has been worked on before. So, but it's not an issue. We'll just probably, yeah, it's not an issue. It feels good. Um, we went ahead and wiped the edges. We got the doors done, uh, getting those areas that had some holes in it, some cracks, fiberglass, those areas. Got a little bit of shaping to do. Got a little hole right there. Anyways, uh, wiped the rockers. We wiped the corners. Got that rocker, yeah. Back from the holidays, man, it's grind time. It's time to get to it, it's time to get to work. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna get this bad boy finished up. Like I said, with the body work, definitely time consuming. But man, you once you actually start taking your time on it and trying to perfect it and do it right, it get fun. Because like I said, I did not enjoy body work at all when I first started doing it. I wasn't even doing it when I first got into it. So body work, body work, body work is definitely something that I don't I don't mind doing. I feel weird saying that. So. Anyways, like I said, um, let's just go over kind of a few things. That way I don't don't miss it. Uh, in school, my teacher used to actually grab a hammer. I got to get on out of here, as a matter of fact. My teacher used to grab a hammer and like, pow, fix it. And psh, you'd have to fix it. So in most cases, you'll just sand around it with some 80 grit. You, that Bondo isn't going to stick to anything less than 80 grit. Now, it'll stick for a little bit if you're using anything above 80 grit. But I just wouldn't. I wouldn't. Because the bondo has to absorb into it. It has to bite down on something. If it's not 80 grit, then I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how well that's going to stick. So I would use 80 grit, even 36 grit. Wipe that bondo. I mean, wipe that low spot. Sand around here with some 80 grit. Wipe that low spot using your Evercoat bondo, whatever you use. Let it dry until it's until it's hard. And then, you know, buzz out, block, block over it with you know, your 80 grit, block it down. Once you block it down, you can take it up to like maybe some 180 and then prime it and then block it again with some, you know, 320, 600, whatever you're using, take it all the way up to 600 and then paint it. So I probably messed up on that order. I'm just giving you an idea of how to get the body work finished. However you paint it, however you prep it is on you. Uh, but definitely I would take some, some 80 grit to this, bring it down some, and then you pretty much got your dent fixed. Um, as far as just rust and, and holes and cracks, I feel like that we're gonna get to that. We'll get to that um, later on down the line, as soon as we get this car put together. So focus on. I just want you to focus on where well, anybody that's interested. Just kind of focus on you know getting those dents dents perfected when it comes to body work and blocking. It's definitely a strategy to it. So it's not about to just be a cakewalk because that's why I didn't want to do it at first. It's because it, it was time. It was too time consuming. I wanted to see results. I wanted to see like, man, yo, like I'm trying to see some paint. I'm trying to see some candy. And I would rush through that process. When you take your time on your body work, you will appreciate how that paint job came out even more. So definitely, definitely. We got some. I, I'm going to go ahead and prime this whole thing one more time and block it one more time. I'm going to take this long block. And I will literally just, I'll probably, when I prime it, I'll probably do like some 320. I'll block it with some 320. And then I'll just, uh, might just, just block, I'll block it with the 320. Now, if you good with the DA, you can DA this whole car um, after you block it just to get it. So my, my, my plan is to actually prime the car, block it with some 320 all the way around, and then DA it with the 600. Now, if you good and you feel comfortable, you can use a DA after you do that because now it's like a regular car. Now it's like a regular paint job. Like I said earlier, you can use the 600 on the DA and just walk the car. All you're doing is just scuffing the surface. So that's my purpose. Now, the reason I'm blocking it with the 320 grit is because if I just jump straight to the 600, man, that 600 is going to have a hard time cutting through all that primer, um, that thick primer, because I got some high build primer. Um, and it would just be faster just to go ahead and knock it out with the 320 and then chase it right up with the six and then we'll be good. So once we get it to that 600, we'll assure our masking is good. We'll assure our body work is good. We'll assure the whole thing is good before the paint, because especially it's a candy paint job. So you don't want to have to do no rework. Want to make sure are we painting the doors on it, off of it. That's the things you're going to have to write down and in, in order for your process to go fast because there's been days where i just come in and just be like damn like what am i supposed to be doing like i don't have a boss to come and tell me okay this needs to be done next that needs to be done next 
Nah, this is like you have. I gotta write this down and make sure that when I come in the next the day before the next day, everything is ready to go. I gotta make a schedule before I come in as well. So, uh, definitely, definitely, buy you some blocks if you if you upcoming painter. Please buy you some blocks. You'll be ahead of me in no time if you just start focusing and slowing down on your body work, perfecting your craft. So, like I said, like man, I got better at it. I feel way more confident in the body work. So. It's definitely time for me to get up on out of here. So I will cut y'all back on uh, pretty soon, sometime this week, definitely, because I'll be a lot farther. I'll come in tomorrow at 3. I'll get some work done, and then before I leave, I'll give y'all a rundown on what was being done or what got done. And then if it's something that I'm just trying to uh, go ahead and show y'all, I'll set the camera up and do some work, do some body work, and then we'll go forward with that. But feel free to, you know, just... Let me know in the comment section below or just uh, reach out to me to my email and ask me, you know, you can ask me anything, any questions or comments or anything like that. Any suggestions, feel free to go ahead and uh, leave that in the comment section below. So we're going to get up on out of here. I got to eat breakfast. I got to get to work. We're going to bust in eight hours and then we're going to come. We're going to figure out. I'm a, Most cases, I'll be chilling with my kids. I go get my kids from daycare and I had the rest of the day. Like I said, I get here at 3 a.m., put in that grind, put in them hours. Then I go to my regular job for eight hours. And then I decipher, like, I might just talk to my fiance, like, hey, babe, like, you need me at the house? Or, you know, can I run to the shop? And then I'll come back uh, when I get out of my regular job, put in about two or three hours again, and I'll be home at, like, 9 p.m. But I got kids, so I definitely want to spend time with them as much as I can while they're young. So, uh, we're going to clean up anyways. We're going to clean up and then we're going to get up on out of here. Y'all make sure y'all like, comment and subscribe, share the video, whatever y'all want to do, man. Um, yeah, man, I'm just a, a young black brother trying to, you know, document his growth. That's all I'm doing. This ain't really for, you know, for, I don't know what you call it for people who already just kind of got their own thing going on. This is for a lot of upcoming beginner shop owners and stuff like that so i don't mind documenting my mess ups i don't mind documenting my mistakes you know so yeah other than that we're gonna get up on out of here man peace